I'm gonna start off this video with a quick disclaimer here. The video following this one may or may not include me having the same shirt. The previous two videos, I think I had the same shirt. They were all recorded in the same day. I really just don't want you guys thinking I'm dirty, you know? I mean, I am dirty, but not dirty, if you know what I mean. Okay, no. But anyways, what's up, guys? My name is Hollow, and welcome back! By the way, I'm using this new lens. This is my vlogging lens. I can uh, zoom out, zoom in. I'm just using it. It's like this big. That's what she said. I don't even know why I'm using it. It's not like you guys can tell the difference. I just wanted to put it there because the other one was giving me issues. The video I recorded it last night, it's going to take me a while to, uh, to, uh, to uh, edit it, but some crazy shit happened yesterday night. A lot of emotions were running down through one of my subs. I don't even want to ruin it for you guys. I'll post the video hopefully tomorrow or on Monday. Trust me, keep an eye out on the channel for a video that has to do with a subscriber. It is crazy. There's so much information that has been leaked about this new Call of Duty. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. There's so many things that are popping out every single day and it's exactly what we predicted we predicted that we're gonna get a bit of news and it'd probably go throughout the entire weekend leading up to the worldwide reveal which is awesome Okay. The worldwide reveal for Call of Duty World War II, which is obviously next Wednesday, as we spoke about in the previous video. Uh, last night, I think it was about 1.30 a.m. in the morning or something. Some new marketing material over in Australia, I think it was, got leaked for Call of Duty World War II. In this marketing material, it gave us information about the campaign, game modes, release date, which, by the way, the release date will be November 3rd, according to this marketing material, and, of course, a closed beta. So, for those of you guys that are wondering, are we going to have a beta in Call of Duty World War II? Oh, fuck yeah. We spoke about this in the past betas are almost a necessity nowadays with call of duties ever since they started again with the whole you know call of duty black ops 3 betas it just helps the developers so much at launch day that it's it's a necessity for them now i'm gonna read to you guys um what this marketing material has i'm gonna link the images down in the description on a link i don't want to put it here because i don't know what am i doing I don't know if it's actually legit, which I think it is, but if it is, I don't know if they're, you know, issuing strikes for it. So I don't want to get a fucking strike for giving you guys some intel. Let me just hide here real quick. Because, you know, some of these dudes be scummy, man. In case you guys didn't know, the beta, you have to pre-order the game in order to get the beta, okay? We'll talk more about the beta now, but this is what we have so far. Uh, shout out to Charlie Intel. They actually typed this down. The game description says, in the back of this marketing material, it says the following. Call of Duty returns to its roots with the Call of Duty World War II, a breathtaking experience that redefines World War II for a new gaming generation. Land in Normandy on D-Day and battle across Europe throughout iconic locations in history's most monumental war. Experience classic Call of Duty combat, the bonds of camaraderie comradery i don't know if i'm saying that properly i apologize the unforgiving nature of war against a global power throwing the world into tyranny probably said that wrong too god i am a fucking moron now there is a campaign and a uh, multiplayer description but really quickly as far as for the game description yes it's gonna be world war ii it's gonna be taking place obviously according to real life events now we do know according to what we've seen in the past that it is kind of like an alternative world that we've seen before it hasn't been officially 100 percent confirmed but we've seen uh, in the past leaks, a few weeks ago, that it was an alternative world to some extent. That's why some people were actually freaking out that, yeah, you know, it's World War II, but since it's alternative, it may actually have jetpacks and shit, you know. All the Call of Duty jokes we all get. Campaign description in Call of Duty World War II tells the story of an unbreakable brotherhood again. We're gonna be going... We're going to be focusing on several soldiers, as we spoke about in the past. The story of an unbreakable brotherhood of common men fighting to preserve freedom in a world of the brink of tyranny. 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 You know what? I just Googled that shit. I'm pronouncing it right. Tyranny. Fuck yeah. Players enlist in a gritty, intense journey throughout the battlegrounds of war. The campaign features bold, lifelike visuals with the kind of blockbuster cinematic authenticity that only Call of Duty can deliver. Damn, bro. That's that's pretty confident. Only Call of Duty can deliver. I'm a Call of Duty fanboy, but hey, Battlefield 1 delivered some fucking cinematic shit for when it came to the campaign. Because when I played the Battlefield 1 campaign, I didn't know if I was playing the game or if I was watching a movie. To be honest, I've never seen anything like that. I'm sure this game is going to look good as well because from the images that we showed you guys on yesterday's video, which if you haven't seen it, go check it out because it, showcase, um, it showcases images and some of the weapons. Multiplayer description. Call of Duty World War II multiplayer engages players grounded. Grounded. Boots on the grounded grounds, mofos. 
Fuck off. Fast-paced combat across many of World War II's most iconic locations. Players will also enjoy exciting new ways to interact and socialize with their friends and the Call of Duty community. Michael Condry had over on Twitter a little video. Basically, he was in, I think it was in the UK. I don't remember where he was, but he was actually in a spot that took place during World War II. And it kind of just hinted us that, you know, this game is going to be having maps. And, you know, when it comes to multiplayer and campaign, that actually existed in real life during World War II, which is pretty freaking cool. Then we have have something new called high octane cooperative which is co-op mode call of duty world war 2's co-op mode unleashes a new and original story play with your friends in this next level standalone game experience full of unexpected adrenaline pumping moments that high octane co-op mode is not going to be the same mode as campaign obviously from what we just read it's going to be different you can do the campaign and then you can do another story mode with your friends separate from the campaign so that's pretty freaking awesome one thing that people have been asking me and one thing that you know with all the reason people are kind of concerned about is are we going to be getting a zombies mode or something like that or is this co-op mode replacing zombies i think we're gonna get zombies probably nazi zombies kill off hitler or some shit i don't know i don't know the plans yet i ain't god i think that they're just hiding it kind of like they've done it in the past they're not gonna talk about it because zombies is so popular at this point that it literally is its own it's got its own community and shit i wouldn't worry about it i think we are gonna have zombies i think it's gonna be pretty cool if we do it'd be dumb for them not to this call of duty needs to have it all it needs to have the best of both worlds and done right like i said before this call of duty has to be top notch in order for call of duty to keep thriving <laughs> For those of you guys who probably wonder about the beta, yo, hello, what's up with the beta, bro? It's pretty simple. The beta is gonna work exactly how it's worked the last two, three years. We're gonna get the beta. You have to reserve the game in order for you to obviously get the beta. That's the only way that you can get it. This is the thing. Yo, what happens if I don't reserve the game? Am I gonna get the beta? Well, if you remember correctly, the previous betas for Call of Duty, they have been open to people who reserve the game. And then a little bit after, they kind of just have like an open beta. If you really don't want to spend five bucks to get the beta early, I myself, I'm going to try to give some codes away because it'd be dumb not to try and get the beta early for five bucks. You know, I mean, if you really like Call of Duty, five bucks is really not all that much. And at the same time, it goes towards you getting the game if you're going to buy the game regardless, unless you're really not looking forward to getting the game. Kind of serves you as a, a seal of approval type of purchase, if you might say. Scumbag. You get the beta, you play the beta. If you don't like it, then you don't have to buy the game. Completely up to you. The beta is probably going to be first on PlayStation 4 for the first few days. And then it's going to transfer over to Xbox. And then both consoles are going to be having the beta at the same time simultaneously. That Kind of like what happened with BO3 and the rest of the Call of Duty. I hope the beta doesn't give us everything, man. I said this before in my previous videos. The Infinite Warfare beta gave us literally 98% of the entire game. And by release date, this f***ing Peter Griffin mother. By the time of release date, we had nothing new. I'm almost confident I can sit here and say that every Call of Duty is going to have a beta moving forward. It's already kind of like a standard thing for COD. Jesus, the connection in this fucking lobby is disgusting. So what can you gather from this information we have? We're going to have campaign, and the campaign is going to be revolving around different soldiers. Now, I'm not sure we're going to be able to alternate between these soldiers, kind of like in the story mode, kind of like what they did in Battlefield 1. That's obviously yet to see. I think we will be. Brand new co-op mode, which is going to be standalone from campaign. And then, of course, multiplayer is going to be grounded. Campaign and multiplayer are going to have realistic, real-life, actual maps. Obviously, the multiplayer maps are always a little bit changed a little bit. But as far as campaign, it's going to be actual locations that took place during the World War II. going to have a beta, closed beta, first off for people to reserve the game for five bucks depending on where you reserve your games at and then it should be open beta a few days after that first on ps4 then on xbox one basically with the gist of this the game releases on november 3rd which is november 3rd is on a friday by the way guys i know my recent videos have been a lot of uh news related things i'm trying to make the news but bring you guys Fuck that guy. I'll bring you guys live gameplay. So it's kind of like best of both worlds i hope you guys don't mind it i mean it's just a really crucial moment right now <laughs> Get fucked by my shock charge. What an asshole. Suppressed fucking sniper. I don't know if you guys mind all the uh, news videos. Let me know if you do. I'm just trying to bring it to you guys as a live gameplay. I'm not just sitting in front of the computer screen like I did with my first video. Because too much of that is annoying. But this is kind of like what my regular video would be. Just with a little bit less jokes and editing. Because I'm not hunting for the thrill here. I'm hunting for the news. You know what? Forget it. What do you guys think? Call of Duty World War II beta. Are you guys excited we're having a beta? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. <laughs>
it just got announced. Zombies Chronicles includes eight classic maps of Treyarch's Zombies Remastered, and maps include Gobblegum Function. That's all we have so far, but it's coming. <laughs>